My name is Adele, and my colleague Jane asked me to help her explain how to make a copy of a Google form. And I said, well, there's no easier way to do it than by making a tutorial. So here we go. Sometimes we find Google forms that were made by colleagues or friends, or we just find them through our personal learning networks on the internet. And we ask if they could share it because we see that it'll be useful for us. So what happens first of all is you need the link. Jane will send you the link in an email and you'll copy and paste that link into the address link of your browser. And it'll ask you if you want to make a copy. So you say yes, make a copy. So now you have your copy of the first student self-assessment, Keep Talking. Step three, you want to make it yours. So first of all, change the title. And here as well. I'm going to make it for my school. And here as well. You can change things if you want here. If you're only if you've only got a few of these classes, then let's say I only have UD 1, 2 and 3. I don't have 4, so I can delete that and make all the changes I want to my copy. And let's say I, the, everybody's divided into levels, so this question isn't relevant for me. And I'll change the names of this, the teachers here. And I'll leave question six as it is. I like the rest the way they are. If you want to, you can also make it even more personalized or more pretty by going to the color palette. And you can either change the colors. I'll just make it pretty by adding whatever. There we go. After you've made your copy of the Google form, I highly recommend that you organize it because when things are organized, they're much easier to find. So you go into where it says move to folder. And if you don't have a relevant fo folder, you make a new folder and you call it whatever you want. And there it is. Go into my drive and Google Forms for course. And there it is sitting and waiting for you. When comes time, your students have already filled out responses and you want to see them, you make a spreadsheet and create. And then all of the responses that you get from your students will come into the spreadsheet and you'll be able to see it very easily. If you need any help with it, you can ask me and I'll make you a tutorial. Once you've had responses, you'll see the responses in here, which we don't see now because nobody's responded. And you'll have the spreadsheet as well for more detailed information. When you want to send it, to your students. If you all have WhatsApp groups, the easiest way probably is to grab the link, copy this link, and send it to your students to fill out. And if you want to learn any more about Google Forms, you can check out this tutorial up here. Is it up here? No, it's up here. It'll be in one of the places in the corner. And if there's anything that you want me to teach you or or teachers that you're working with in a teacher training program, or your students, 
or whatever, let me know. Write to me at Digitally Yours, and I'll try and help.